Hello, a few weeks ago I showed you a Chrome OS flag that you could enable which would allow you to have a calendar on your Chromebook or Chromebox. One thing I said in that video is that it would have been good if it synced with your Google Calendar. Well the good news is with the Chrome OS 98 update it now does and I'll show you in the video coming up. Hello, a few weeks ago I did a video on how you can now have a calendar on Chrome OS. This is great news because this is something that we've wanted for a long time. Before we had a calendar which you could use which is built into Chrome OS, you had to use your Google Calendar. Obviously you still want to use your Google Calendar because that's where you put all your events and it's great, but there was no calendar that you could use within Chrome OS usually at the bottom right hand part of the desktop where you click on the time you'd expect to see a calendar with other operating systems that was something that was missing good news is now you can now have that with a chrome os flag if you don't already have the chrome os flag installed for the calendar then you will have to do that and i have put a link in the description and that will show you how to do that first so this this video is assuming that you've already installed that and it's going to show you how the new updates from chrome os 98 has gave us more functionality with the calendar so now let's pop over to the chrome os desktop and i can show you the new improvement so one thing i would say from the, when i did the original video is to find to click on the calendar once you've installed it you would click here that sometimes works now but sometimes it doesn't so something else i also mentioned is that you can click there so that brings up the calendar so if you have any issues with the calendar not coming up here sometimes it does i think it's just that they're still working on it maybe and they haven't decided where, how they can actually get give you the access to it so if you can't find it from there you can simply click on there and then it brings up your calendar now the one thing that uh, we i looked at last time and i showed you this new calendar was it's great and as you can see there it's got the dots there so it shows you when you've got events which is really good the one thing was that was missing was when you clicked on the time nothing actually happened it didn't show you anything on the actual date which is a real shame so it would have been nice for it to show you what you had in your google calendar the good news is with the chrome os 98 update so if you've already got the calendar installed with the flag you don't need to do anything other than wait for your chrome os to update to chrome os 98 so as of today my chromebook Chromebox is now on version 98. As soon as you update to 98, you'll see that you can use this new functionality. So go down to the calendar. And from here, as you can see, we're on the 10th, but it will then show you the dates of where you've got events, which is there. You can see them with the little dots. Now, if you click on it, it actually shows you what it is, which is excellent. So it's now syncing with the Google Calendar, which is really good and it's showing that I'm going to the gym between 2 and 3 p.m. tomorrow. Not necessarily, I'll just put that in so I could show you. Uh, but So it is really good, and then if we click on here, I did some more events on the 15th, and then it shows you all the events you've got there, and different colors there, which I'll show you all of that. So that's really good news that they've updated the calendar now, so it will sync. I think in the future, we will get more than what we've currently got, but as I says, remember this is a Chrome OS flag. So I'm gonna sh now show you, that's the great good news. Now I'm gonna show you some things that uh, still need a bit of improvement. So the first thing I would say is, when you click on the calendar, you'll notice that the dots take a while to appear. So the 11th appeared just there for the 15th. Let's just wait. Yeah, so nothing just yet. Nothing's appearing. And this is the thing, but other times it can be much quicker. And sometimes it shows the 5th, there we go, just showing a dot there. Sometimes it shows that dot first, sometimes it shows the 11th. So it obviously needs to be quicker that it shows you what, what days you've got events on. However, that being said, you don't have to wait for the dot, even if there's not a dot. You can now click on that date for today, for example, and it's blank because there's nothing there. So it's not that you're waiting for the data to come through, it's just waiting for this dot to show. So you can click on any day and it will show you when there's an event. But where you've got a dot, you know that's where there's an event. And if you click on it, it shows you them events. So some things that would have been nice to have seen is a hyperlink to your calendar. 
So there we've got food shopping delivery. That tells me everything I need to know. But what about if it's a different event where you need to know, you've got a meeting and you need to know what board, what meeting room it's in. I was gonna say boardroom, but maybe meeting room. So um, check in there, you wouldn't be able to do that. So it would be good for hyperlinking. Um, and one other thing that I will show you, which I've noticed, which is a bit strange. So on here, you've just got the one event, which is fine. It brings in the time and it brings in that. And it also brings in the color that you choose on the calendar, which I'll show you in a minute, which is good. The bizarre thing is that on the 15th, I just put in a few entries, made up entries. Now here, you'll notice that the times are not in sync. So we would expect by a birthday present, that's at 10 to 11, for that to be the first one, and then go for a run, one till two to be the second one, that to be the third one, and this one to be the, the last one. However, it does it totally different. It's doing it from the time I actually enter it on the calendar, which is obviously something that needs to be addressed. So for example, that is the first thing I put onto the calendar. That was the second thing I put onto the calendar. That was the third, and that was the fourth but it should be sick moving it compared to the time. So I'll show you what I mean. So if we, for example, I'll just exit out of that. If we look on the 17th, there's nothing there. So if we go to our Google Calendar, go to the 17th, and we will add an event on the 17th, and I'm going to put, just put food delivery, doesn't really matter, food delivery, and this is between four o'clock, four o'clock and five o'clock. And I'm gonna change the default color here because that comes through as well. So you may have color coding, which color coding comes in handy, especially with email boxes. If you've ever worked anywhere where there's lots of people working on one email box, colors are um, really important. Okay, so press save on there and then you've got the food delivery. So we put that in first, but then we're going to have an event here as well. So we're going to go and do a new event and put um, walk the dog. Not that you should need to have an event to walk the dog. It just should be something you do naturally, but we're just doing it for the sake of it. So press OK and press save. Now on your calendar, it's obviously put the walk the dog first because that's from 12 to 1 and food delivery from 4 to 5. If you go onto this calendar, it doesn't do that. 17th, so it's come up with a dot pretty quick there. You'll see that it's put food delivery first and then walk the dog. And it's not because it goes from down upwards, it's done it from the time that I entered that into the calendar. So that's something still that needs to be looked at. And as I says, this is a Chrome OS flag, so we can't expect it to be perfect because essentially this isn't really for the stable channel yet. However, the good news is that we do now, we can now see events coming up on the calendar, which is really good because this is making it even more useful now. I've, since I've added the calendar, I've been using it a lot just to see what dates, days fall on, which is really good. Now I can actually click on there. It's really good because this isn't my, this is, this is my calendar, but it's not for this account. My, my main account, I do have calendar events on there. So it's really good. This is just what I use for when I'm doing my videos. So it is really good. And I hope you've liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe for future videos. And thanks for watching.